Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a wonderful start to the week. If you're new here, I'm Jo. I do craft videos and I do haul videos. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I will reply. And if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me, then it'd be wonderful if you joined our family and friends. If you're returning, as always, my friends, thank you for your continued support. I love you guys so much. And yeah, let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I decided I was going to make a miniature bird house for my fairy garden and I used straws and stirrers to do this and a bit of fake plants and some fake flowers as well so let's get into it guys So for today's craft, I started with one of the mini wooden plaques. You get a pack of six from the works for a pound. I picked these up months ago. I'm using some paper straws. These were from Poundland and I'm using this for the base of the birdhouse as well as the sides of the birdhouse. I'm using some of the wooden stirrers. These are a pack of 150 from Asda for £1.25. I'm also using some acrylic paint. This is a pack from Poundland that you get six in and I'm just using the brown. Then I've got some fake moss from Wish that I paid a pound for, some bits of leftover plant from a Poundland and also some fake flowers that I picked up from a charity shop. You'll need a glue gun, a pair of scissors, a pair of tweezers, a pen and a ruler. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm taking one of the wooden plaques and now I'm just going to take one of the straws and I'm just holding it in place to get a rough idea of how tall I want my birdhouse to be. And then I'm just going to mark with a pen and then measure the straw. It was about six centimetres but I did end up shortening it a little bit later on to five centimetres because it was a little bit too tall for what I wanted. So depending on how big and tall you want your birdhouse will determine how tall you cut your straw. So I'm just going to trim that and then before I glue it to the wooden plaque I'm going to actually paint this first and I'm going to paint it in brown acrylic paint. I'm just going to do that, let it dry and then I will glue it to the base. I just didn't want to end up with glue all around the wooden plaque at the base when painting it so I painted it first. So I'm just going to stick that in place using a little bit of hot glue and then we can get on to building the rest of the birdhouse. So now I'm going to take some of the wooden stirrers and I'm going to cut the curved edge off the end so I've got a straight edge and I'm going to measure a three centimeter piece and then I'm going to cut that to size. And this is going to be the bottom of our birdhouse. And I'm going to do four of these. So I've got four pieces at three centimetres. And then I'm going to glue these together using another stirrer. I'm just going to use this as a base to glue them together. So I'm just going to glue a long stirrer at the back. And now I'm going to glue the other three pieces next to each other making sure there's no gaps and it's nice and neat. So now before I stick the last one in place, I'm just going to cut off the excess. And then I'm just going to glue the last piece in place. And that will sit on top of our straw. 
but before I glue it in place I'm going to do the sides of the birdhouse and I'm going to use one of the paper straws I'm going to cut four sections at two centimeters so again just using the ruler and a pen I'm just going to measure two centimeters and cut four of these so they're all the same size And then once I've got my four sides, I'm going to glue one of these in each of the corners. So now that the four sides are done, I'm going to work on the top section. I'm going to take one of the wooden stirrers, make sure that I've got a straight edge to start off with. And then I'm going to measure a three centimeter piece. I'm going to cut this and the two, three centimeter pieces are going to be for the side of the birdhouse. And then I'm going to measure two pieces at two and a half centimetres and this is going to be for the front and the back of the birdhouse. So I'm just going to measure out the other two pieces to the length that I need them. And then we can glue them in place. So I'm going to start off with the sides first, just adding some glue to the top of the straws. And then popping that in place. And then I'm going to add the other three pieces as well. So now I'm going to glue this to the base. And before we do the next section, I'm going to paint this in the same brown as we did the base of our birdhouse. And I'm going to make sure that I paint the inside and everything's covered. So it's all painted and it's dry and we can start to work on the roof. Now I've missed a bit of the video. I don't understand what happened, but I'll explain what I did. So I'm going to start off with a stirrer. I'm going to cut a straight edge and I'm going to measure two and a half centimeter strips. So I'm going to have two that are two and a half centimeters. And then I'm going to take some of the stirrers and I'm going to measure from the end, leaving the curved edge on, I'm going to measure one centimetre strips and I'm going to do quite a few. And this is going to be for the roof tiles. And I'm going to glue them one centimetre strips to the pieces of wood that we just cut here. So you should get four one centimeter strips across the two, two and a half centimeter strips that we've just cut. And I'm going to do them so that there's five rows. So there's my one centimeter strip. So 
So this is what I've done. I've glued them on the two and a half centimeter strips. I've done four across and I've done five rows. And now I'm going to paint the underneath of them in the brown first before we glue them to the birdhouse. So I've left the tops for now and I'm just going to glue these to the side. So I'm just going to add some glue. And then at an angle, stick it to the side. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. And that'll go on the opposite side. And they should just about touch in the middle. And then to finish off, I'm going to take another one of the stirrers and I'm going to leave the curved edge at the front. And I'm just going to measure how long I need it to be. It should be about two and a half centimetres. And then I'm just going to glue that in place at the top to hide the joints of the roof. Now that it's all glued together, I'm just going to re-strengthen the base of the birdhouse because it's just come undone a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue and then I'm going to paint it brown. So I'm going to do another coat all the way around and let it dry. So now that it's dry, I'm going to use some moss that I picked up from Wish for a pound. I've got some leftover bits of a plant from Poundland and then I've got some purple paper flowers that I got from a charity shop. I didn't use the yellow gypsy grass in the end, but I'm going to start with the moss. I'm just going to break this apart and use little bits and I'm going to decorate around the top of the birdhouse with it, just gluing little bits of sections. I'm going to start by putting some in the gap at the top of the roof. And then I'm going to add some around the base of the birdhouse as well. And I'm just going to take little bits and glue them as and where I want them. like so. So I'm just going to add some more in the moss as and where I want and then I'll show you what I did with the next section. So I did it around the top, around the back and then I've added some to the bottom of the base. So now I'm going to use some of the leftover bits of plant that I've got from other projects and these are from Poundland and I'm just going to cut these into circle sections. And then I'm also going to cut some of these sections into tiny little pieces as well. So that I've got little bits that I can add in between the moss. It's quite hard to see. And 
and I'm just going to add some in the moss at the top and then some of these circle sections around the base like so and then to finish it off I'm going to add some of the purple paper flowers I'm going to pop some around the base and then I'm going to pop a couple at the top of the birdhouse and then that's the last thing so we can have a look what it looks like and here it is i love how it turned out i think it looks super cute quite whimsical and yet yeah, really happy with it i'm glad i didn't put any of the yellow on it and i didn't want to overdo it with the moss but i'm really happy with how it turned out and for using some paper straws and some wooden stirrers i think it looks super cute see you on friday for the next video take care guys love you loads bye